I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly create your own lined journal or notebook using free tools that's ready to publish on Amazon straight away so you can get up and running with your own publishing business in no time. Now my name is Paul Miles and I do videos on publishing no content and low content books and also how to create an income from home just using your laptop or computer. If you like videos like that then hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. And if you do like the video give old captain a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. Okay so we're going to be creating in this video our very own 6 by 9 inch lined journal that will be ready to publish on Amazon. And it's going to be in two parts. First is creating the cover and the second is creating the lined interior. So make sure you watch both components as are essential to producing your own book. Now, first of all, you're going to need to create an account on Canva. I'll leave the link below in the description. That's canva.com. And this is where we're going to be producing both the cover and the interior. So when you're on the home page, just click where it says sign up and create an account. I've already created an account, so I'm just going to log in. And we come to the main page. In the top left hand corner, you're gonna click on create a design. And then we're gonna do custom dimensions. And we're gonna change the units to inches. Now we need to put in the width and the height of our cover. Now the cover is not just the cover, it also contains a bit around the edge for what's called a trim and also a bit down the middle for the spine. So we need to get the correct measurements. So in order to do that, we're going to download a template. So go to the website bookow.com. Again, link is below. And then click on KDP cover size calculator. And then just scroll down. So now we're gonna be creating a book or the front cover is six inches wide by nine inches high. This is going to have 120 pages Let's put in 120 pages there. Paper type white. Leave the next two boxes blank. It will it will send us these files in PDF and PNG format. And you just put need to put in your email address there. And then click the box, consent to email, and then just put in email cover template. And they will send you a template via email, which you just need to download onto your computer. And it will look like this. So this will tell us the size of the document we need to create. And this is it here. It's the page layout size, which equals a full bleed size. So that's 12.52 inches times 9.25 inches. So we'll go back to Canva and put in those dimensions. 9.25. And then click on create a design. And that will leave, give us this blank template. So we need to first of all create the background. Now Canva will supply you with a whole variety of backgrounds. And now this is a free account. Some backgrounds are only accessible if you've got the upgraded pro account, but this is all gonna be done in the free account. So you could choose these backgrounds or as I like to do, go to a, a graphics website. I like vecteasy.com and I put in blue pattern and we're gonna download a pattern from here. And I like this one, this blue and pink design. So you just click on the, the design, click on download. Now, if you go to any graphics design websites and download their graphics, you've got to um, look at their terms of service. Now for the free version of Vecteasy, I know there are, you're only allowed to sell up to 50 items with that particular graphic on. If you want unlimited products to sell, you would need to, to pay for the, the pro version. I use this a lot and for me it's worthwhile the investment. So I've downloaded our cover and I'm going to go back to Canva and click on uploads and then it's going to go to my downloads folder and just drag our background into images and then we can just drag that across to our cover template and just expand to fill the screen. Don't bother about this on the edge, that's fine. It won't get um, it won't get printed when we come to do our final download. So next thing to do is to create 
the strip down the middle. So you can go to shapes, see all, we'll just select the box. That creates a box here, which I'm just going to expand. It's going to reduce in size. I'm going to click on position, click center. So that's nicely centered. It's going to make that a little bit smaller. Like so, position, center. Now the next thing we need to do is create our box where we're going to write our notebook. So again, we're going to click the rectangle, reduce this in size, and just position it on the front cover. Again, reduce in size. Now this is going to be white, so we just need to change the color. So go to top left corner, click on color, and just click on white. Okay, now I want to create a border around this. So we're going to go to our shapes again, click on this box with the border and just position that over our rectangle. And then we're going to write in the center of the box. So we just go over to text, click on heading. It's going to double click on that and write notebook. It's going to reduce the size of the font for the moment. It's a bit small. And then just position that in so. Now, if you move that around, you'll see it'll automatically position itself in the front of the box. It's currently in white, we need that in black. And we're just going to increase the size again, position it in the center like so. I think a little bit bigger. I want to choose a slightly different font for this. So I'm just going to double click on it, click the drop down box, and I'm going to choose this one, Playfair Display Back. It gives it a bit more of a classy look, I think, like so. And then the next thing we need to do is put the word notebook down the spine. So I'm just going to click on that, Control Copy, and then Control V to paste. And now we're going to rotate move it over to where our spine is. I'm going to rotate it through to 90 degrees. And again, we can move this to position it in the center, but this is going to be too big. So I'll show you what we need to do next. We need to go to uploads, and then we need to find that cover template that we downloaded earlier. And then we need to drag that across. And then we need to drag that across to our book and then just position it in the corner then just drag and drop till it fills the box so if we're going to enlarge this now and you can see this word notebook has to be within this white area on the spine of the book so we're just going to just reduce that in size and, and then just drag it in position then Enlarge our book and again just reduce it in size, put it in the center, and there you can see that's nicely within this zone. If you do overlap, all that will happen is Amazon will tell you that the spine text has overlapped and you'll have to submit the cover. So make sure you get that right the first time. No big deal if you do, you just have to correct it later on, but it just delays the upload process. And then that template cover we just need to delete and there we're left with our notebook which I think you'll agree looks looks pretty reasonable for a a first attempt so now what we need to do is download that as a PDF file and that will be ready then to upload to Amazon so what we do is top right hand corner go to publish click on download where it says file type just click the box and click on PDF print and that will download as a PDF at a resolution of 300 dots per inch, which is the requirement for Amazon. So just click on that and we just download and that'll download to our computer. So you just keep a note of where that's downloaded and you'll need that for, for later on when you come to upload to, to Amazon. So now we need to create the interior. So this is going to be a, a lined interior or blank lined interior. So we need to create a new design custom dimensions now each page is six inches by nine inches 
but again similar to the cover you have to account for bleed because our lines are going to come right to the ends of, of the page on either side. So we need to leave 0.125 inches at the top, add 0.125 inches at the bottom and 0.125 inches on one of the vertical sides. So this will be 6.125 by 9.250. Click on create new design. Now I'm going to click on text and just click on add a little bit of body text. Okay, I'm just going to move this up just around about towards the top of the page and I'll increase the size of this so you can see what we're doing. So we double click on that and then we're going to click on underline. I'm just going to draw a line. So I'm clicking on shift and the minus key to give us the underline. And we're going to go straight across. And just on the alignment, I'm going to click on this one where it has all four equal bars across and then we're just going to fill fill the page. I'm just going to stretch this across like so and then just fill the page. Okay now this is a bit dark for a a line so we're just going to click on color click on light gray. So now we have our line in position and what we'll need to do is just copy and paste the line. So now you can see we've got another line here. So we're just going to position this. You can position it however far down you want. Just make sure it's in line with the, the original line. And see we've got our two lines. And again, press Control V, produce another line, just drag it down. And we've got our equally spaced lines. I'll just enlarge that for you so you can see. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to highlight one line, copy, paste, and just drag that down into position like so. Copy, paste. Drag that into position just so. And I say if you want the thicker lines, uh, or thicker distance between the lines, you can just drag down that, drag that down a bit more. And don't but don't worry, as you can see here, it overlaps one edge. That won't be that won't appear on the page when we come to download the the PDF. Now I won't bore you with this going through all the lines, so I'll carry on with that, and I'll see you in a moment when I finish the page. And here we have our finished page. And notice I'll leave a bit of a margin at the bottom. You can, if you want to, bring your lines further down to the bottom of the page, which I think I'll do on this on this occasion. But remember, a little bit of the proportion, uh, a little bit of the page will be trimmed off at the bottom and trimmed off at the top. So these top and bottom margins won't be quite as big as they appear. So we have our full page here with lines going to either end. So now we want to create 120 pages. Now it would be a bit of a drag if we had to repeat that for all, all 120 pages, but we don't need to do that. We just need to click on copy page and it will add, as we can see here, page two. And we just need to keep doing that until you get to 120. So again, I'll speed that up. Now, free version of Canva will only allow you to download a maximum of 100 pages in one document. So what we're going to do is download one document of 100 pages, download another document of 20 pages, and then merge them together. But don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. So I've renamed by clicking on the box up here, this document line pages one. So we're going to just download that. Click on PDF print again and download. Okay, and then we're going to reduce this to just a document of 20 pages. So just click on the delete page, just work our way through. Again, I'm not going to bore you with doing this, so I'll see you in one second where we'll have our 20 page document. In fact, it probably would be easier if you did the 20 page document first, download it and then increase the size of it to 100 and download that. So here we have our 20 page document. I'm going to change the name of this to lined pages two. Click on publish, download, PDF print, download. 
then we're going to go to a website called smallpdf.com. This is where we're going to merge our two interior PDF documents to create our 120 page document. So go to smallpdf.com, okay, and click on choose files. So if our line page is one, double click on that. And then we add more, choose file, line page is two. Then merge PDF. And then we download that. And we now have our interior document. So what we have now are two PDF files, one for the cover and one for the 120 page lined interior. And these are ready to upload on the KDP platform to Amazon to produce a journal or blank lined notebook. And I'll show you how to do that in the video. I'll leave the link above. And then you'll have your first notebook or journal on Amazon and that'll be the start of your publishing business. So that's it for this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and also hit the notification bell to receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. And until next time, goodbye.